So we know the game already. Here we have to do a little bit of body work over there where we've done a repair. I need to grind here a little bit before that though. And smoothen this paint so the scratches are not seen. Strip the seal. This wheel well needs to be smoothened. Doesn't need any body work as far as I can see. And a little bit of body work on the lip here. This is what I mean. A little bit of body filler here and there. The whole floor now is uh, scuffed. Here there were some areas where there was uh, surface rust, so I um, rust converted those. And I'm gonna leave it like this. It's Friday, so I'm, it's gonna sit as is for the weekend. And then on, my, on Monday, we're gonna start uh, wiping all this with uh, alcohol or with paint thinner. And uh, eventually we're gonna start painting. And if you think I am forgetting some parts that I still have to weld, yes, you're right. I am forgetting something, but I'm not gonna tell you you can figure it out. So we're gonna weld those. It's a pair of two identical parts, left and right. We're gonna weld those on Monday and then we're gonna do what we just said. Hey guys, welcome back to the next episode of the 74TR6 restoration and uh, we are almost ready for paint. So remember I had a question, what do you think I forgot to do? It involves welding. <laughs> I had to weld a pair of something to the car, which I forgot. Do you remember? Okay, it's this here. The gussets. <laughs> the gussets at the door I'm forgetting. This is the second time I forgot this. I remembered about them at some point and then I forgot them again. So we have to drop the car down, weld the two gussets, uh, I have a little bit more welding to some of these nuts here. The captive nuts started spinning around. So that's not good. So these we're gonna have to, uh, I'm just gonna make a little tuck next to each one and grind it so it is nice and flat. And I think that's the last welding. <laughs> and it should be because after that, we're gonna wipe the whole bottom and especially here where we have this rust converter and now i wiped it here with thinner just to see if it works well it looks like this and now it looks like this so we're gonna wipe all that we're gonna wipe the dust we're gonna clean the floor and we're gonna start actually spraying today hopefully we decided that we're gonna go ahead with trim cloud and then later we're gonna spray it with body color but for now, we're just gonna do the bottom and the wheel wells with trim cloth. Okay, and now we can work on our gussets here. Oh. So that's the, so let me show you here. The heritage numbers are these, but then there's a most part number 802072 and this says RH which is the right hand so this goes to the right uh, I just recorded a, a lot of footage here without knowing that you actually didn't see anything because I was out of frame so anyways <clears throat> this is uh, how it goes with this part out and leaves just enough room here for the seal and then on the inside, that's how it goes. So uh, it's wiggling a little bit, but that's that's okay. I can just make a notch here for this, for this blob over there of weld, so it can go a little lower, and then it's not gonna rock. And then plug weld over here, couple more welds here. I'm gonna drill some more holes down there for plug welds and that's how we're gonna weld it. All right, so I drilled holes here for plug welds and made a notch here a little bit. I, I ground it here a little bit so now it fits well. Like this, doesn't rock at all. And that's where we're I'm gonna weld it. I 
think I'm gonna leave a little bit of a gap here not I think I need to because if I don't here I'm gonna have troubles with the seal I'm gonna show you later after it's loaded but basically I'm gonna put a spacer here this is like two washers and I'm gonna clamp it make sure that your door fits well and all your gaps are perfect before you weld this gasket on, right? I know that mine are good because we tested everything after I changed the floors, after I done all, most of the welding. So I know because these braces here, it's holding it where it was the last time I checked. So that's why I'm comfortable installing this bracket. But if you haven't checked your door gaps, and uh, your fenders and everything then don't install it yet okay well these are not the best uh, plug welds that i've done i've done better before but still they're not too bad and on the outside this is where i put spacers here and here otherwise i was gonna have issues with my seal with my door my, with my door seal when i install it here because initially i was gonna just clamp it here but then that would be a big problem. So now we have just enough room for the seal. So that's it, let's weld the other one. I've already tucked this here. See, I made little tucks here on each and every one so they don't give me troubles anymore. I tapped them, tapped the holes again to make sure that the screws still fit and now we're gonna do the same there we're gonna install the gasset there we're gonna weld those uh nuts on the other side oh shoot i have the wing there okay we still have to do it but yeah i can install the gasset and then we're gonna be ready to start preparing everything for paint the bottom i mean all right the other gasset is installed too and now it's time to lift this back up on its side and uh, sweep the floor nicely clean a little bit around blow all the dust off everywhere like it's the bottom of the car so it's not critical it's not that that important but we want to keep it clean right so we don't want too much debris on the paint and uh, then we're gonna wipe it and start painting yay exciting <laughs> the floor i blew with the with compressed air all everything all shells and stuff like that uh probably you saw the cloud that i made and then i swept, swept the floor again then i blew again then i swept the floor again a few times and now i believe that in this area it is pretty clean i also wiped the whole thing now the whole bottom of the car and the top or the driver's side wheel wells i can't reach the bottom ones so what i'm gonna do is i'm mm -hmm. gonna start by spraying the two wheel wells and the bottom of the car i'm gonna do our few coats whatever we decide to do and then uh tomorrow i guess we're gonna flip the car the opposite way and we're gonna do the other two wheel wells i don't see another way unless huh, unless I flip it upside down but you know what no because i have to put the wings and if i put the wings i'm not gonna be able to spray over there so yeah we're gonna do it in two stages we're gonna do the bottom and the two wheel wells and the, the other two wheel wells we're gonna do later tomorrow maybe and then we're gonna let it dry for a while 
and in the meantime we're gonna do whatever we need to do on the frame a little bit and then we're kind of we're gonna come back to the body we're gonna put it the right side up and we're gonna start priming the interior the boot and um, the engine bay I think that makes sense to me at least and uh, yeah we will see <laughs> we will see so let's start mixing paint now so for the paint we're gonna go with this paint uh, trim cloud rust uh, that's what we're gonna use we're gonna thin it with some acetone and we're gonna spray it with our regular HVLP again for the bottom of the car I'm not too worried I'm not professional painter by any means so whatever I'm doing here doesn't necessarily mean that it this is the right way I'm just gonna do what I think is the right way so don't quote me on that <laughs> okay the paint is mixed I mixed like a pretty good amount I don't know <laughs> maybe too much and uh, I tested my gun over here so everything is perfect so now we're ready to start painting so again guys by any means I'm not a painter so don't criticize me too much give me a little flag here I'm gonna put you on the tripod actually and I'm gonna let you watch what I'm doing and I know there's gonna be a lot of uh, mistakes that I'm gonna make so feel free to comment feel free to give me advices I'm always open for advice but don't judge me too bad please <laughs> Anyways, here goes nothing. All right, it's not bad, not bad at all. Like, I love it, actually. <laughs> Look at this, where the repairs were. It is wavy, you can see the reflections, but you can't see the welds here too. You know, there was a big piece replaced here. So I'm happy here, all these, you can see in the corner, but okay, that's only the first coat, right? So. All right, I sprayed second and third coat and it's the end of the day now. So this is where we're gonna leave it. We're just gonna clean our tools and that's gonna be it for today. Like I started at noon, so, so it took me like, I guess three hours to weld the gussets, clean the bottom of the car and spray three coats, which is pretty good, I think. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know if there's gonna be more of this video or we're gonna end it here. But uh, if in case I don't see you again in this video, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.